Hey, everybody out there in the leading California world, this is David Berry. And Terry, this is crazy, but we're on episode 39. Can you imagine next week we're going to be on episode 40 of all of these amazing episodes that have so much great information? And Terry was <laughs> super excited this week about his new guest that we're bringing in. So, Terry, I'm going to let you introduce our new our, our new guest and uh, we got sunny. It might actually rain in Las Vegas. It never rains in the desert, but we might have rain today. Uh, you said you got rain out there. And what's going on today, Terry? How are you? Uh, thanks, David. Yeah, we had rain yesterday. Lightning. The crazy thing is that Barbara, our guest, Barbara Liston, our guest today, and I live only about less than half a mile from each other. Oh, wow. Okay. So she sat through that thunderstorm yesterday also. That was we got an inch and a quarter, but man, there was some serious lightning. My dogs were hunkered down under a desk, mm. not happy. My two California dogs who never had to experience lightning before. Yeah. Uh, they experienced fireworks in California, but they didn't experience lightning. And neither one of them is very happy when the rumble starts. So with that, uh, Barbara, it's great to have you on today. Thank you so much for joining us. Barbara specializes on 55 plus communities, 55 and up older communities, which is where I fit definitely mm. in central Florida. And when people hear that, they go, Oh, Barbara specializes in the villages. I can't believe Barbara has introduced me to a lot of different opportunities other than the villages. There's nothing wrong with the villages. Lots of people live there, move there, love it. But I will also tell you, there's plenty of people who don't want to go live around tens of thousands of other 55 plus they'd rather live in a smaller community and so i thought it'd be great to have barbara join us today and she's brought along some uh slides to show us too about those communities so barbara with that uh, it's great to have you thanks for being here today Thanks for inviting me. I'm glad to be here. And just by coincidence, this morning I was doing a pre-walk for a brand new house that a couple from San Diego is getting ready to move into later this week. They're going to have their closing on Friday. So I nice. know all about leaving California. Nice. Oh. And uh, yeah, go ahead, David. Oh, I was just going to say, Barbara, um, just to give you a little of my background, I was born in Fort Lauderdale. I lived in Las Vegas since I was 10. My mom lived in the villages for 10 years, and she was the assistant food beverage manager for one of the golf courses there. I don't remember wow. which one. And so my mom was kind of famous in the in the villages, and I went and visited her quite often. So I'm familiar with the community. I think they do a lot of really cool events. But I think I get what Terry's saying is people don't want to live with 100,000 other people in that situation, maybe some smaller communities. So I'm super excited to hear what you have to say. And uh, I have been to both to this area before. So Barbara, without further ado, let's talk about uh, why are so many people leaving California, moving to Florida? And we're talking about a lot of people that are over 55 are doing it. So the people leaving 55, I mean, leaving California, that's your business. I don't know why so many people are living it, but leaving it, but we do get them here. But we get people from all over the country. So wherever you move in Florida, you're going to be around people who have come from everywhere in the United States and all over the world, which makes it really interesting. All different backgrounds, cultures, races, religions, politics, everything. It's it's a real mixed bag and it's really nice. Mm. But we have a lot of 55 plus communities. And like uh, like you said, I specialize in that. So that's who I hear from. And if I could share my screen, I want to show you what it looks like on a map. Is that okay? Absolutely. Sure. Before we do that, I, I, I wanted to clarify, like, would you be able to help somebody if they did want to go to the villages or is that just not your geographical area? Absolutely, I could. Okay. And then if they don't like that, people either love it or they hate it. If they don't want that, I've got plenty of other options. That's fantastic. All right. I believe I did put on here that you can share. So go ahead and uh, share your screen. On the bottom button, it says share. All right. We're getting there. Got there it. we go. Beautiful. Look at, Look at that. You're such a pro at this. <laughs> yes. yes. Just learned how to do it. <laughs> so I just made up this map just to give people an idea of how many options there are. And these red stars 
all represent a very popular 55 plus community in the Orlando Central Florida area. And wow. these are only like the really popular ones. There's many others too, but I'm in and out of these all the time, every day. I know them all. Um, let me go to the Barbara, next. I, I had no idea. I, I mean, I thought you were going to show like maybe four or five. And you're saying this doesn't even, this is not even the tip of the iceberg. Uh, that's a lot of communities. And uh, I think that when people are leaving California, they definitely have a lot of uh, different requests and they have a lot of different things that they that they like. And I would have to imagine that these are all different. They offer all kinds of different things. So maybe you could share a little bit about that. I will. And I've got some slides for that, too. Um, oh, is it not going down? Hold on. <clears throat> Uh, I've got another slide. Should should just hit the arrow down button, maybe. Yeah, I might have picked up the wrong one. Oh, that would be too bad because I have a lot. I can talk it through too. Well, no, uh, we'll 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 figure it out. So just uh, oh yeah, no no pressure. Take your time. So click on the uh, click on the screen that you are currently on on the map, and then now hit the down arrow button. That should work. Oh, there you go. Okay, so. So many people that come to Florida, or especially the Orlando area, all they really know is Disney. And so they think if they're coming here, they're going to be around Disney World. They think Disney and Orlando are the same thing. This map, I just wanted to show you, you can see where Disney is. You see Mickey Mouse, you see the airport, you see Cape Canaveral there, you see Orlando, the city of Orlando up there. Uh, that golden triangle, that's considered the big tourist area, lots of Airbnbs and things like that. So if you want to move close to Disney, I can get you a 55 plus home in that golden triangle. If you don't want to be that close, don't worry. There is plenty of them outside. We're not just Disney World. We're not just tourists here. Got it. Um, here's a typical home in a 55 plus community. They're, they're lovely. A lot of people, they come, they've been in various parts of the country. They've had two story homes, townhomes. They say they want one story they don't want stairs anymore that is standard here that's what we do a single story homes you can get a two-story if you want it but that's rare hey i'll share one thing with you i went out to i share i told you i went out to the pulte development out in mineola and the the lady uh i, I said hey uh do you want a one story or two story i said are you kidding me i want a one story and then i walked through the model and there was a two story there and it had a whole living quarter upstairs. And I'm like, Hmm, my oldest son is married. They're going to have grandkids. What better place to put them when they come to visit than upstairs and let grandpa be downstairs by himself and not dealing with the grandkids running around and all the things that grandkids do, <laughs> which I'm not, I'm not opposed to having my grandkids on the same floor, but it had a whole living area, kitchen, yeah. bathroom tv area bedrooms all that stuff upstairs so just just uh, just something to keep in mind if you got grandkids and you want to put them in their own separate living quarters if you will so that's an option on a few floor plans at every 55 plus and that's exactly why people get them they're mm -hmm. they're not planning to walk up and down those stairs every day but they're thinking when the kids and the grandkids come we'll throw them up there that's exactly why they get them Barbara, I was going to ask you, and I may be getting ahead of myself, but uh, does it matter on all of those stars that you showed, uh, are the price points majorly different or the 55 plus communities that you're referring to, are the price points pretty similar? They can be pretty different. So Terry went to a Dell Webb community and everybody's heard of Dell Webb, the biggest name in 55 plus. And they sell the same floor plans at all the 55 plus communities. We've got about seven Dell Webs in Central Florida. You can you can pay two hundred thousand dollars less for your base price on the same model between Orlando and Ocala. It's all about location, like everything else. It's about location. Mm -hmm. If you want to be close to you know more urban services, closer to Disney, closer to the airport, closer to the beach, all that, you pay more for that. If you're willing to go to Ocala area, beautiful community, same gorgeous homes, starting price can be $200,000 less. Wow, that's great. Of course, I, I get... 
it didn't mean to interrupt you, so continue on with your presentation. Thank you. Uh, we have uh, all ages of 55 plus communities. We have some that have been built out for a long time and you can get a better price on a resale home there. Or if you want brand new, you might pay a little more, but you get a lot for that too. Got it. Do you have another slide coming after this? Can you see this one, the uh, open floor plan? Yes. Yeah, beautiful. All right, so everybody now wants the open floor plan. And if you get a new home, really a new home anywhere, but especially 55 plus, it is going to be the open floor plan. And in a 55 plus home, they're a little bit different from a regular home in that the majority of the square footage is gonna be in this big public room, the open living room, kitchen area and in the owner's suite. That's the majority of the square footage. You'll have a, a guest room or two, maybe a den, and they're smaller because it's all about you now. It's all, so they have all the square footage where you're gonna be spending all of your time. So here's just one. Uh, Lanai in Florida, uh, you, you may call them something different in a different part of the country. We call them Lanai is the back porch and everybody gets one all the builders included on the house, but you could extend them. And this, this picture you're seeing, they use the um, lanai that comes with the house, they've extended it and they put in a pool. You can do all that. And for our California members that are, and we do cater to other people besides California, but for the majority, I mean, our members are leaving California. Would most of the homes have this enclosure? And is that mostly for bugs or for for climate control or what we, do they mostly most of them have that in, enclosement with the with the surrounding so most of them do the a lot of the builders don't enclose them for you you get the lanai you get the structural but they don't put in the screens because everybody wants to do something different some people just want the lanai that comes with the house that's under the main roof some people want to extend it and put the big bird cage over so some of the builders don't even screen them in because they don't know what you want to do some of them come screened in but pretty much all the houses have a lanai and most people have screened it in once they move in or before you know well, it's mosquitoes bugs things like that so you could you're going to spend a lot of time outside if I'm if I was coming there, Terry, I think this is the one that I would want. How about you, Terry? Oh, I'm with you, David. I want I, I want it enclosed. I want a pool for my dogs. Now, by the way, most of these communities have a community pool, but I want I want a I want a hot tub and I want a pool for my dogs. Right. So yeah. It's, uh, absolutely. And and there's plenty of room for them to shake off when they get out of the pool and uh, want to come back inside. So yeah, it's beautiful. Yep. There you go. Get a pool. Here's here's a 55 plus. I, I really like this community quite a bit, but you can see uh, there's a, re a resort style pool on the left. There's a lap pool on the right. Somewhere else in the community, there's another pool. Now, this community itself, with all of this, they're going to have about 1,500 homes that build out. Compare that to the villages where, you know, they're around 100,000. You know, they're, they're, pushing 100,000 homes already. But this is only 1,500 homes, plenty big to have tons of activities. You can make a lot of friends, just not overwhelming. And sometimes you leave the community and go into Orlando and do things as opposed to say the villages. It's kind of the villages all the time. When you go to the store, when you go to the restaurant, it's villages, villages, villages. Here, you know, it's like a big neighborhood within the rest of the community. So this is- what which um, community is this called and where would this be in proximity to, say, Disney World or the airport? So this community has what I call location. It's um, called Twin Lakes. It's in the town of St. Cloud, which is just over the border of the booming part of the city of Orlando. You're about 40 minutes from Disney. You're about 30 minutes from the airport and you're about 40, 45 minutes from the beach. So it's got everything. Uh, a lot of 55 plus people are still working and they may be working out of a home office but they need that airport or maybe they're retired and they're gonna travel a lot. This is very convenient. You pay for that convenience because the land is expensive. But this one also has this sits on a 400 acre natural spring fed lake and people go out there and fish and they bring back bass and they have fish fries. Um, you can see the clubhouse in the front on the left. 
on the right, the other building is a big fitness center. Um, it's got everything, pickleball, tennis, bocce ball. It's got everything. Absolutely beautiful. That, that, that is, I, I'll take, I'll take that community and that little Lanai area with the pool and spa. That <laughs> you can see why I got excited when I drove out to these 55 plus communities. I'm like, oh my gosh, these things have everything. And by the way, uh, golf cart friendly communities. A lot of these uh, communities uh, build a golf cart uh, pass for you. So you can have your golf cart there. Um, uh, you know, it's, this is a great, and, and Barbara, by the way, if you can, I, I don't want to forget if we can touch on how much this stuff costs as far as HOAs. And if there's any other additional add-ons, I want to be sure and address that too. So that people don't think that there's no cost to, to have all these amenities. So like at Twin Lakes, um, their HOA is somewhere around $400 a month right now. Um, and I'm not going to quote it exactly. Cause I, you know, I'm used, I have all of them in my head. I don't want to mix them up. Sure. But this includes boats. They have a pontoon boat. They have a, a John boat for fishing, kayaks, canoes. They have all of that. And you just kind of check it out like a library book because the HOA owns it. You just pay for gas. If, it, if it's a gas boat, you have it for three hours, six hours, whatever. And it's part of your HOA. Um, a lot of them, not all of them. They're all a little different, but you might get cable TV, um, internet, uh, definitely get your landscaping done in most of them. They, they cut your grass, take care of your garden. Some of them pay for the irrigation of your grass, uh, the fitness center, all of this full-time uh, activities directors. You get a lot for your money. If you start adding up each one of those, buying them separately, uh, I don't know how they do it. Yeah, that's great. How many slides? Oh, do you have quite a few slides or a few more? I can, I can keep going if you want. You yes, tell please. me. Please do so. That'd be great. This is great. This is just another pool at another 55 plus. You know, if they, this one has a cover over part of it so you can get out of the sun. People hanging around on pool noodles, uh, socializing. That's so standard. You see that all the time. Here's another zero entry pool. So here's a clubhouse. They all have a big clubhouse. And this is a one of the newer ones, very modern. And there are places you could just hang out. This is where they have a lot of parties. They have events. Uh, you might be in a card group or just want to play cards with people. There's tables, uh, craft rooms, everything. They have full, a lot of these have full-time activities directors. Um, and there's an events room. They all have fitness centers. Uh, they're all a little bit different. Here's one. This is a, a Dell Webb property. Here's their fitness center. And then they'll have big rooms for... Um, classes you know yoga and, and all kind of things pool tables i had a customer who was all about the pool i had to go investigate all the pool tables or all the 55 plus to find some really pro style pool tables these are excellent pool tables i could tell you that that's why i have the picture yeah there's another one now this community and i think this is an artist rendering um uh, this community only has about 500 homes and they've just finished building it out. But still with just 500 homes, they have that beautiful clubhouse. Look at the pool, zero entry, some lap lanes on the side. You can see pickleball and tennis on the side. They have all the same things just on a smaller scale because they have fewer homes. Hey, Barbara, I, I want to interject here just for, for our members because we have a lot of members that are over 55. We have a lot of people going to Florida and I wanted to address, um, you know, I know a lot of you sometimes will think, well, you know what, I can go directly to these communities. I could just drive there. But when you have an expert like Barbara, somebody that knows them all firsthand, it's going to be so much better off. And Barbara, maybe you could address that a little bit um, for our members, rather than just going to these different communities and not really kind of aimlessly going. What's the difference? Because I know some people do that. But as a realtor and as an expert here in my market, I like to be able to take people to new builds. Could you share uh, with to our members why it's so important to have a realtor to go to these new builds? Well, I can tell you a couple of things about that. One is that the people who decide we're going to Florida and we're going to look at every 55 plus community so we can figure out which one is for us. I'm telling you, after a day or two, they don't know who they are. They don't know where they are. They can't. <laughs> 
don't do that. There are too many, you know, talk to me and let me talk to you about what you want. What are you going to do in your retirement? Let me help you narrow down the options. Give me a price point. I can find you a few to look at. Number one. So that's the number one thing is too many to try to strike out on your own. Second is when I work with buyers, I'm on your side. You know, would you go to court and let the prosecutor represent you if you're the defendant? No, you don't. You need yeah. someone on your side who's looking out for you. That's yeah. what I do. So, and I, I, I love to tell this story because I had a customer was just determined there was one 55 plus he wanted. We went, we found the floor plan. He priced out his options and everything. And I kept saying, but let me take you to the one down the street. Let me take you to the one down the street. He didn't want to do it. He didn't want to do it. We finally went. He looked it over. He was shocked. And he went back by himself the next day and signed a contract, called me up. And he said, thank you. I saved a hundred thousand dollars. Wow. I like better a community. I like better. And I never would have gone. He wouldn't have gone there. He didn't know about it. You only know what you know. Well, there you go to all of our members. I hope you just heard that a hundred thousand dollars. That's why you have an expert. That's why you use a realtor and they don't hurt anything. They, they only help you. And, and you know, that I keep saying this over and over again, but Terry Gilliam, our founder has put together 350 like-minded realtors. And Barbara, every time I interview a new realtor on our show, just like you, you can feel it. You can feel their passion. You can feel that they're not just saying, oh, you just got off the plane. Let's go buy. We're going to go to one house. We're going to have you make an offer and you're going to buy it. Like they, no. there's no conversations like that. So what were you going to say, Terry? No, I was just going to say that these things, there, there is so much of a variety. And I, I love the fact that, hey, if you have an active lifestyle, you can live in an active community. If you want more, just relax and and uh, peace and quiet, you can have that also. Uh, but there's, the, the, you know, there's uh, something for everybody here in these communities. I mean, look at the number of them. I was stunned at the number of stars that Barbara had on that first map that showed you. And that's not all of them. That's the crazy thing. It's not all of them. But yeah, this is, uh, this is what... Uh, I think people should definitely consider when they're they're looking at Florida. Uh, Barbara, just to, if you can just address. So we think that uh, most of the members of our group think that an alligator is going to eat you if you move to Florida or a tornado is going to blow away your house every year. Uh, so if you can just address that about how hurricanes and tornadoes and all of those things are taken into account when they build these communities. So especially if you're buying a brand new home, the building standards are really high in Florida right now. And these, these homes are just very solid. It, it's a good deal. Um, they've also, when they start one of these communities, I like to say they do hydrological engineering. And I think I've made that up, but they start with the land and they, they, um, they fix it. So they have a drainage pattern through the community that, so when, a lot of water comes down, the rain has a place to flow that doesn't go through your house. You'll see a lot of ponds in these community and they're to take excess water. And some of them, they can lower the level of the pond before the storm comes. So there's plenty of room to take care of this water. Um, I go around after a big hurricane came through here a few years ago, I went around to see my customers who I'd sold houses to. I, I was so afraid somebody might have gotten hurt or their house. Everybody was fine. And they thought I was crazy to come check on them because it was nothing. Their house was fine. They had no flooding. They were good. That's one reason people want to come to Orlando and Central Florida. We're close enough for a day trip to the beach. But by the time the storm gets to us, it's usually slowed down quite a bit. Yeah. So it, it was... It was it was my fault we start a few minutes late, but I'm still working on getting our live videos done. Um, and I like to keep these around 30 minutes and we're getting close to 30 minutes. So, um, and, and keep in mind to all of our members, what we're really trying to do is educate you. We're trying to give you information that makes your relocation smooth. It makes it easy. So I don't want to leave anything out. And we usually talk about communities and opportunities and we talk sometimes about education and the political climate and things like that. But um, I don't want to, for our viewers, I think we've already given out a ton of information. And I I cannot say this too many times. You must have a realtor. This is so important. It saves you so much time and it can save you $100,000. So um, 
we have it, it we'll, we'll do we can go at least another five minutes anyway so barbara um what else would you like to share with our members from leaving california actually david i've got a question for barbara Barbara, uh, can you talk about some of these add-ons on top of the HOA that some of these communities are adding, like that Dell Web that I community that I saw, they had an additional thing in top on top of property taxes. And I know you know you're you can you're somewhat familiar with that, and some communities have it, some don't. Can you just talk about that and and what that is? So in Florida. In new construction, you're going to find a lot of communities with a CDD. That stands for Community Development District. And this is something when the when a new community starts, the builder has to put in all the infrastructure on a huge parcel of land, the roads, the water, the sewer, and they pay for that with a uh, tax-exempt municipal bond. And then when you buy a home, you are responsible for paying back your share of that. Now, some people are upset. They don't want to pay a CDD. And I tell them, if there's no CDD there, believe me, you are still paying for that. There is no sewer ferry. Nobody's giving you free roads, free sewer, free water. You're going to pay for it. It's either broken out in a CDD. It's in the price of your house. Sometimes it's hidden in the HOA. But you're going to pay for that. So don't get upset about the CDD. It's just paying for something you were going to pay for anyway. That makes sense. And Barbara, um, we did talk a little bit about pricing, and I know it's all over the board, but you know, for somebody that's leaving California and they really want to downsize, can you give us some some numbers? Can you save three hundred thousand uh, up to two million, or what? What? And what's the average when you're moving to an over fifty five community? So. Um, a lot of people come to me and they're looking to buy a house between three and four hundred thousand dollars. And I can find that. I can also, right now, I can still find a few houses under two hundred and fifty thousand. Now they might be 20 years old on a bigger community that's still building, but these would be some of the original homes. They're still in good shape. Maybe cosmetically they need work. But you can also spend over a million dollars to get what get a really you want me to take, can I put her outside? Is that okay? Sure, go ahead. Isn't that what you said? Yeah, go ahead. I'll yeah. just, uh, let me just add that these communities, they think of everything. They've got barbecue options. Pretty much anything is an option. You can get a basic home that I mm -hmm. saw, or you can get a barbecue on the back deck. You can, they'll add a pool and a hot tub. They'll add, as Barbara said, they'll add, porches, they'll add anything you want. So yes, with that, Barbara, go ahead as far as the pricing goes. Yeah, so you you can spend well over a million dollars if you want to if the, in the best locations, getting some of the biggest houses with all the bells and whistles. A lot of it's up to you. If you're building from scratch, uh, the, the base price is probably not going to give you what you want. You're going to have to spend a little more, but you've got to control your options. And Barbara, as we come to the end of our show, I, I always like to have our professional realtor share because we're really speaking to the members of Leaving California Life After California. If you could give advice, and I think you've already given a lot of great advice, but if you could tell them, like maybe, you know, somebody that's in California right now and they're thinking, I think I'm going to do this. I think I am going to move. What advice would you give to somebody that's on the fence right now about, about leaving California and possibly coming to Florida? My biggest advice is to start by thinking, what do you want to do in your retirement and where do you want to do it? Don't start looking at communities and looking at homes. Figure out, okay, do I want to be North Carolina, Florida, Alabama? Start where you want to go, then start drilling down. Okay, do I want to be on the beach or would I rather be in central Florida? Then think about what are you going to do? Are you going to be flying a lot? Do I need to be near the airport? Um, do I like to be out in the country? So, and, and yes, think about what you want to do in your retirement. And that way we can narrow it down and find the best home and community for you. You know, the best advice that I always give is this is, this is a major, I mean, this is major. And, and Barbara, we've, we have clients that have left after living in California for over 70 years. 
Like this is not, we don't take this lightly. We're not just saying, oh, it's easy. Just go buy a house in Florida and live, live your best days. We understand, but it's a process. And the process that's important is that you have a plan. It's not like, well, I can just make it, I can sell my house tomorrow and then I can buy a new house on Thursday. No, <laughs> you have to have you, you know your process. So it's really important that you have the right people that are on your team. And you don't want to have somebody that's just trying to sell you something, but you're trying to have, we understand that this is a big deal. So by having these conversations and talking to professionals, it's really important. Barbara, I have to say, I love your passion. I love your energy. And for anybody that's coming to the Orlando, Central Florida area, I would highly recommend uh, that you check out Barbara. Barbara, if you don't mind, would you please share how they can call you and what your email is? What's the best way to get a hold of you? Um, my phone number is 407-739-7182. And my email address is Barbara Liston, B-A-R-B-A-R-A-L-I-S-T-O-N, like Sunny Liston, Barbara Liston at KW.com. Got it. That's easy. Mm-hmm. And uh, Terry, I did this on our Money Matters show this morning. I'm going to do it again to all of our members. You know, we, we've done 39 episodes of different communities. Terry and I poured our heart and soul out in going and hitting 11 different cities in the South. Like, we're here for you guys. And we need you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We need you to share, like, and comment on our videos. We want the feedback. We love positive feedback, of course, who wouldn't? But we want to hear from you. What do you want more from us? What do you want less from us? And I'm going to ask you to please utilize our network because that's why we're here. We're here to help people. So uh, I'm asking you to give us a chance. Give Barbara a chance. If you're thinking about going to Central Florida, at least give her a call. It might not be the right fit, but at least give her a call. And if it's not the right fit, she'd be the first one to say, you know what? Here, let me let me hook you up with somebody else. I've got another person I think you would work better with. And um, so I'm asking you to like, subscribe, comment, share the post. If you know somebody's leaving, please, I'm asking you to help us grow and help us continue to educate. What else do you want to add in closing, Terry? Come enjoy Central Florida. There's no homeless around your community and the 55 plus communities. They they take care. They cut your grass for you. I love that. <laughs> Uh, as Barbara said, a lot of times the cables included. There's uh, these amenities. You've got usually almost always that uh, just come come enjoy it. There's so much that is uh, is really desirable about living in Central Florida. I love it here. I love it here. So Terry, uh, you've left California and you live in Central Florida. Is it actually better there? Oh, David. Yeah, uh, I'll let people judge for themselves. Come and experience Central Florida. We hope you have a great week. And thanks for tuning in to our episode 39 of Leaving California Freedom Podcast. I hope you have a great week and we'll see you next Monday. Thanks, Barbara. Thanks, David. Bye-bye. Yeah.